Today is about the strategy that organisations go through to ensure they've got the right people in the right jobs. So it's about looking at jobs, are they designed properly to make sure that you are actually going in the direction the organisation want to go in. We've got some great case studies in looking at how typical organisations such as B&Q and McDonald's um, changed completely the way they recruited people to make sure they had the right people for the way the business wanted to move forward. Organisations have changed quite considerably over the last few years. We all know that we prefer to shop online. Some of us prefer to shop online anyway. And companies have had to change the way they manage employees and recruit staff to cover the new roles that are coming about because of the um, new way we shop. So for example, um, supermarkets require people to pack and pick and deal with the technology side of shopping online. So another example is um, B&Q. So their customer feedback indicated that they wanted people who understood the trade. They wanted people who understood what a screwdriver, what screws, what pieces of equipment they might need when they're doing DIY. And so B&Q as an organisation strategy looked at how they could recruit retired or near to retirement tradesmen to come and learn customer service skills to be able to work on the shop floor. Um, that's a complete new way of working for B&Q and a complete change of role. So consequently a new job design and new skills and new trainings required for all of their staff. Um, so practical things then that people can take away from today is looking at tips and the trends in the way HR is moving currently. So looking at the skills, looking at how they can plan for future changes within the organisation. And that can in turn help retain people so that they're not keeping consistently moving on and it'll change your attrition rate in being able to keep people for longer. And people are more satisfied and motivated to continue to work. The big things currently um, in the HR world is the um, issues that have come to light recently with the requirements that companies have. If they've got more than 250 employees on the gender pay gap, it's been something that's talked about for many, many years, but from April next year, companies have to start looking at what their gap is in their organisation, paying males and females. Um, it may cause more issues than they believe just because we're focusing on just the number of people in each gender and what they're actually paid.